Okay, John Q here again. This time with a little printer troubleshooting. If you get a 3D printer, you're going to have to do some maintenance. Now this one was just purchased in June, but let me show you something. Okay, now you can see it's been commanded to go to 216 degrees on the hot end, but nothing's happening. Now I've removed the ends of the heater cartridge from the main board and I'm measuring the resistance. And as you can see, it's enormous. It should be about 3 ohms. And it's reading 1.5 meg. Now here's a brand new heater cartridge, an E3D, and it reads 3.6 ohms. So the heater cartridge that came with the Anycubic has failed. Okay, now I've wired a couple of jumpers into heater zero, which is for the hot end. And it's bouncing around in the middle of old range. Now after I tell it to turn the heat on, I read 12.65 volts. So the main board is supplying power but the heater cartridge has failed. So the next step is to pull this cover off the cabling. After that there's a zip tie up here that's got to be cut holding the cable bundle together. And now there's Kapton tape tying the hot end thermistor and the heater cartridge cable together that that's going to have to be cut. Next there's a set screw that holds the cartridge in right there. It's a 1.5 millimeter. Now you don't have to take it out, you just have to loosen it. There's a screw right there that holds the fan assembly on that's going to have to be removed. It's in the way. Okay, there's the two cartridges. This one is the old one. You notice it's apparently just a brass or copper cover, probably brass, and Looks like a solder fill on the end. This replacement that I bought is a genuine E3D. I bought an E3D cartridge for it to replace this because when I looked for cartridges for this printer I saw a bunch of Chinese ones that uh, one of them was a bundle of tin, and one of the comments was, yeah, they work great for about three or four months, which is why it's a good thing I bought so many. At which point I go, well, let me think. Um, my Prusa uses an E3D cartridge, and it's over two years old, and it's still working. So I think I'll pay the $9 and get a genuine E3D and put it in. Now we get the cartridge positioned and tighten the nut to hold it in place. Okay, the heater cartridge is locked in. Now it's time to tape the thermocouple and the heater cable together with Kapton tape. You have to use a high temperature tape like Kapton, uh, otherwise it'll just melt under the heat. 
Okay, then you gotta zip tie the cables back together and put the wrap back on. Okay, now both ends of the new heater cartridge are screwed into heater block zero and it's time to turn this on and test it. It is heating. And the cooling fan turned on, so I didn't break anything there. So it's repaired. Now any cubic is sending me, and not just a heater cartridge, but an entire replacement hot end. However, it's going to take weeks to get it. In the meantime, I've got a reliable cartridge installed that didn't cost me that much and I'm back in business.